This thing, and also for a lot of years, as one I said earlier, by the way, Trey, that was a beautiful song. Oh, man, on that song, I love that song. It's good to know that it won't rain always, isn't it? Oh. Um, this song we're going to do now, entitled Somebody Touch the Lord, oh. written from Testimony of Healing. In my life, when uh, God healed me, uh, I was carrying our youngest daughter, Jenna, who is um, almost 24 years old now. She's teaching elementary oh. school in Pattersville. And the years are just flying by, and, and but I still tell, um, not in depth every time, but I still share the message of how God healed me. And we have found that in our life that that wasn't the last time we were ever going to need the Lord. But He's always been there. You know, it doesn't always end up the way we want it to. At this particular time, it did. But you know, there are times when, when it doesn't end up the way we want it to. But we have to trust God anyway. And maybe it's easier to say when you're not in the position of someone who's going through a hard trial. But when we go through those times, it makes us stronger. It brings us closer to God. And we have a loved one right now who was here the last time that we were here on the Sunday morning. It's Brother Charles McDonald, the man who was at the record table. And he's in Athens Regional Hospital tonight with cancer. And according to doctors, there's no hope for his survival. But according to doctors, there was no hope for Jenna's survival either. But she's almost 24 now and she's teaching and... God did a complete miracle and it went up to the time that that they said there was no more time left. That my next trip back to the doctor was to be to the hospital for them to remove a dead child from my womb. And that's where I went that morning for that to find out. The doctor said that she would be dead by that appointment. To find out she was very much alive. The tumor, the threat to her life was gone. And also, I don't always share this, but they all also told me that half her head was not formed, that there was no bone structure to half her head, and that she, if she did live, that she would be waterhead. But the doctor told me that day, I said, well, what about the baby? There's no tumor. They said, the baby looks perfect, and his line was, get up and go home and have a nice day. And you would have thought I would have run out of that hospital exuberant and rejoicing, but I was numb because what had just happened to me was beyond my human understanding. And I didn't get it yet. My head didn't catch up yet with what the Lord had done. But as time went by, my head caught up, and then my feet caught up. And I ran and shouted a little bit about it, a whole lot about it, and still do to this day. But there's been so many people healed. I've gotten to give this testimony before thousands of people. And there have been a lot of people healed through it. But So I was talking to Charlie the other day. I said, Charlie, you paid, prayed for Jenna. And God brought her through. And we're going to pray for you now. And the same God that did it then, we're asking for that again. And I want all of you to agree with us that God would give us another miracle. Because it's going to take a miracle for Charlie to survive. But I've just got it pictured in my mind at my house, cooking fish again. We'll have y'all over. All of the gang over here that's with us tonight, we'll have y'all over. I want God to do that. My heart's desire is for God to do that. You say, well, what if He doesn't? Well, what if He doesn't? Well, we're not going to receive that at this point. As long as there's life, we're going to keep on praying for a miracle. And hoping for that. And there's a lot of people believing with us. I believe in the supernatural healing. Jesus Christ. I still believe it. When my body, if the Lord tarries long enough, and my body starts to die and I'm leaving this world, that won't lessen the healing hand of God. Then it will be my time to leave it go into eternity with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's what we're all working for anyway. But until then, i got one more song to sing. One more person to tell. Jesus Christ is still Lord. And in Him is life. And not dead. Hallelujah. I feel His presence. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't it wonderful? How you just, it's not something you work up, but it's just something you kind of walk into. You can stay dead your whole life if you want to. Or you can be alive in the Lord. I thank you for the Holy Spirit that moves me from that old dead place.
place that I get in sometime where ain't nothing no dead or the dead Pentecostal. <laughs>